In this video, we will take a look at two examples of determining partial sums using summation formulas. For the first example, we have the sum of 2i squared from i equals 1 to 25. If we were to expand this sum, notice when i is equal to 1, we have 2 times 1 squared, plus when i is 2, we have 2 times 2 squared, plus when i is 3, we have 2 times 3 squared, and so on, all the way out until i is equal to 25, which would give us plus 2 times 25 squared. So notice how in expanded form, we have the sum of 25 expressions. So while we could find this sum by hand, it'll be much faster to use one of the summation formulas shown on the right. Looking at the third formula, we have the sum of i squared from i equals one to n is equal to n times the quantity n plus one times the quantity two n plus one divided by six. But notice how the formula here is i squared and our formula is two i squared. So before we apply the formula, we do have to factor out the two. The summation, or the sum, of two i squared from i equals one to 25 is equal to two times the sum of i squared from i equals one to 25. And because the index is i equals one to 25, n is equal to 25, and therefore two times this partial sum is equal to two times, and then we have n times the quantity n plus one times the quantity two n plus one divided by six, where n is equal to 25, which gives us 25 times the quantity 25 plus one times the quantity two times 25 plus one, all divided by six. Let's begin simplifying. We have two times 25 times 26 times two times 25 plus one is 51. And again, this is still divided by six. And now let's simplify. Two and six here a common factor of two. There's one, two, and two, and three twos and six. Three and 51 share a common factor of three. There's one, three, and three, and 17 threes and 51. This simplifies to 25 times 26 times 17, which is equal to 11,050. Let's look at our second example where we have the sum of four i cubed from i equals one to 32. To expand this, when i is equal to one, we have four times one cubed, plus when i is two, we have four times two cubed, plus when i is three, we have four times three cubed, and so on all the way out until i is equal to 32, which would give us plus four times 32 cubed. So notice how here, we would have the sum of 32 expressions. But again, this would take a long time to do by hand, and therefore, let's once again use one of these summation formulas. Looking at the last summation formula, the sum of i cubed from i equals one to n is equal to the square of n times the quantity n plus one divided by two. And again, notice how the formula here is i cubed, and our formula is four i cubed. So before we apply the formula, we do need to factor out the four. So the sum of four i cubed from i equals one to 32 is equal to four times the sum of i cubed from i equals one to 32. And notice how n is equal to 32. So applying the formula, four times this partial sum is equal to four times the square of n times the quantity n plus one divided by two. Again, where n is equal to 32, which gives us 32 times the quantity 32 plus one, all divided by two. Let's go ahead and simplify this. We have four times the square. Notice here 32 divided by two is equal to 16. So this simplifies the one, this simplifies the 16. And of course 32 plus one is 33. So inside the brackets we just have 16 times 33. 
16 times 33 is equal to 528. This simplifies to 4 times the square of 528, which is equal to 1,115,136. I hope you found this helpful.